Like, what does it mean? What does it mean to get two quality wins against a team like Tampa at this stage of the season within the same week? Well, it's important for us to get wins regardless of who our opponent is. But obviously, we got a ton of respect for this team. They're uh, they're an accomplished group. They're loaded with talent. They've got a quick strike attack. Um, they're hard to play against. They're deep. They're deep. And so there, there aren't too many weaknesses on that team. I thought our guys competed really hard. I think it means a lot to uh, you know to take uh, four points. Uh, from a team like that in, in, in the same week. So it's definitely something we can build on. I think our guys feel good about it. Um, we, can, we can build on this one for sure. What did you think of the way your team moved them up? It seemed like they were letting the passing do a lot of the skating, so to speak. Yeah, you know, against a team like this, it, they're, they're quick to close to close on you. They've got big defensemen with long reaches. Right. You, you, you know, you, you've got to be able to... Um, you got to move the puck before you have to move the puck, and I think that that's a good rule of thumb when you play teams like this. And I thought we did a really good job in just being sharp and recognizing where the pressure points were, and, and playing behind them. When we play behind them and supporting the puck and uh, just bringing people to the puck, I think that's when we're at our best. What do you think of Granlund's game in this game? I thought he played well. You know, it it was a lot. To, it was a tall task. We used him in in a lot of key situations tonight. He really hasn't had an opportunity to. To learn the, the the kind of the subtleties or the details of how we're trying to play, we gave him kind of an overall foundation. But I could tell early on he's got a lot of hockey sense. He's got a high hockey IQ. I thought he played really well. Like at the last few games, the best you've seen Drew O'Connor play at the NHL level. He just looks like his confidence is in a different place now. Yeah, he's just strong. You know, he's strong in the puck. He's uh, his foot speed is uh, is really evident, and his his size and his strength. You know, he's he's been really good on the forecheck. I think he's really um, taken um, an understanding of of how we're asking him to play in, in, in order to to, uh, to carve a rollout for himself. And when he plays a straight-ahead game, a north-south game, and takes pucks to the net, uh, protects pucks, gets in on the forecheck, uses his body uh, by finishing checks when he has an opportunity. When he does all those things, he's a real effective player for us. And, you know, he's uh, he's taken a lot of risk out of his game. He's he's playing a conscientious game out there. That was a huge goal for us. Uh, we were thrilled for him. He's to to get rewarded for his efforts. Uh, you know, he's a hardworking kid. I think he's playing well. But just his understanding of you know of what we're asking of him, I think, is uh, is really noticeable. He's he's playing a, a straight ahead game, and, and and he's good at it. Like a lot's happened obviously with your team over the last 24, 48 hours. Does that make this one feel a little bit better? You know it I mean? does, yeah, because you know, we're trying to, trying to figure out what we have here and how to, how to make the combinations work, and we're doing that on the fly. And right. so you know, that, that's going to be a little bit of a feeling out process, and you, know, you probably saw some of it tonight. But we'll, we'll sort through that stuff. We'll, we'll figure that out. And, uh, you know, I, I, I think uh, you know, we've got an opportunity to put some combinations together that, uh, that make us a little bit deeper, and we'll, we'll see where it goes. But uh, we're excited to, to, with, with the potential moving forward. Is it surprising to see Latang come back after that puck to the face? Um, I'm not surprised because he's just an ultra-competitive guy and he's tough as nails. I wasn't sure, quite frankly, what, you know, how long it was going to take because he's got a pretty good gash there. That, that took a while, I think, to to sew him up, but uh, it doesn't surprise me that he comes back in the game. He's got a heart of a line. It has been two. I know you think they might get the invite back again next year. We, we want to take him with us for the rest of the trip, I think. <laughs> That's what I just told him coming down here. You know, that when uh, you keep the winning streak going, I'm sure I'm sure Sid might have a comment or two about that. But, <laughs> but for sure, I, I think it's, it's, it's awesome for the dads to be here to watch their kids in and, and, and real competitive games and find ways to have success. And, in, in a lot of ways, I think they, they you know, that they uh, find a lot of gratitude and, and fulfillment in watching their kids have success. It's, it's fun to watch them uh, watch their kids. So it, I, I just think it's a, it, it's such a great uh, event when, when the dads have an opportunity to spend some time with their kids, and because uh, they're a big part of it. You know, none of us get here alone. It's, it's, it's hard to get to this league and. The dads play such a huge role. I think it's uh, it's awesome to, to have them on the trip and, and, and just to just so that we can say thank you for what they do and helping our players be the people they are 
and the players that they are.